Hello, everybody. Hi. Hello, how are you? I'm going to start sharing my live video to others as well and also sharing it on my page. Hi Ben, how are you? Just gonna wave to some people here. Okay, in a short while, I'll be starting very soon. We'll just waiting for a couple more uh, people to come on. And then we're gonna talk on the topic of intuition. It's very interesting. See now. Hello. Hi. Hi, Bridget. Hi, Bridget. Hi. Okay, I'm adding you now. I think you need to go on. Uh, can you get on? Hello. Hey, there you are. <laughs> Hi. Hi, hey. Rashida. How are you? <laughs> okay. I'm like All right. Hi, Bridget. Uh, Hi. I'm awesome. I just came back from uh, training today. We had very good training. So I just got back in time to catch this uh, live with you. And I, I will so look forward to sharing about your work with my audience. Okay, I'm just going to say some more people. Hi, Nani. Hi, Ben. Okay, come come and stay on and, and watch if you can because this is a yeah. very interesting topic. Yeah. Yeah. It is. So, okay, I'm, I'm just going to introduce uh, Bridget first and then after that, I'll just ask uh, Bridget to share a little bit more about your, herself and the work that, the amazing work that she does. And i like you all to know, uh, as many of you know, what Bridget is actually doing. Okay, Bridget is, actually, is a psychic intuitive with over 25 years of experience. Wow! Thank you for the hearts. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi, Azza. Hi, Tia. Thanks for watching. Um, Bridget is a psychic intuitive with over 25 years of experience who helps her clients to connect with their intuition uh, to make better decisions about their lives and businesses. She also assists in certain clients in awakening to their psychic abilities. Her business, intuitive, uh, her business called Intuitive Interiors explores the connection between our homes and intuition. And that is very, very interesting. Um, so, yeah, Bridget, can you tell us a little bit more about yourself, where you currently based right now? Yes. Um, so I am based in Connecticut, just outside of New York City in America. And this is where I practice my home organizing business, as well as my intuition coaching program. Um, yeah, I'm so excited to be home with my family at my roots and, and having fun. Awesome. Okay. So can you tell us a little bit more about um, uh, what is exactly psychic intuitive? So everyone is intuitive. We're all born with that, with that gift of intuition. Um, and then the psychic part of it is a person who has built up their intuitive gifts to a certain level. Um, so intuition has it comes to us in different ways so some people have like those they'll get flashes you know like that's called clairvoyance so like they might see an image or they might get like a little movie that's me all the time if I like if I need to uh, like if I need to like close the door I will see the door that I need to close and I will then go close that door like that's instead of like a oh I have to go close the door you know some people might get their intuition that way as a knowing or a claircognizance. Uh -huh. So you can, right. and there are other, other 
what they call the clairs that can be developed to a certain level. So I've developed my, my natural intuitive gift to a level that I can use to um, help people gain insight and, um, and to, um, yeah, I, I love helping people to gain insight and then teaching them how to develop their own. Does that make yeah. sense? And we, each of us have that, right? We have that intuition in us, all of us, right? Is that right? Ye or yes. are, are certain people are given a certain gifts, only a certain people are uh, given gifts of intuition? Or is that Everyone... available to everybody? Everyone is born with intuition. Some people have a predilection or like, like a gift, a certain gift more than others. So like I was born with more vision, mm -hmm. but some people are born with more knowing. I'm not born with, I wasn't born with a knowing. I had to really like work to develop that one. And so you're into like, when you become, when you work on your psychic abilities, you will develop your natural gift more. Some people are also born more like awake, you know, like they, you, you'll, you'll know people who are like, they're just like quote unquote born psychic, but everybody is intuitive. That person has the same gift in their heart that you have, that your husband has, that my sister has, like we all have the same gift. Some people are born with it more awakened, um, but that doesn't mean that you who were born not so awake cannot develop. You can develop your gift to that level as well. Wow. And how does one develop their gifts? Oh. What can they do? <laughs> uh, <laughs> do they have so... to meditate or something? Or... <laughs> yes. So, um, do... so there are some great ways to... Um, to develop your intuition. Meditation is definitely one of them. The first thing that I tell my clients to do is we identify the way that their intuition is already speaking to them. And it's often in a way that is so natural, like being left-handed or right-handed that people like don't even realize that they are intuitive, you know? So, so we discern that and then we work on being more aware of that intuition and using it more and acting on it more. So building trust with your intuition. So it's like shoring up your strength. Like you always want to wow. make your strength super duper strong as opposed to taking something that's weak and then trying to make it strong. That's going to take a lot of time. So just right. take your one thing that you're really good at intuitively and work to make that strong. So that's what I do with my oh, intuition clients. Very good. I think that that is what uh, people should actually focus on instead of working on their weaknesses. They should focus, work on their strength and enhance it, right? And that is their gift, right? Exactly. Yeah. And then and like go in awesome. like and then go work on your on the weaker parts of you, you know. But make those strong parts of you really, really yeah. strong, and um, yeah. and create strong foundations for yourself. Like you have a natural gift. Focus on the beauty. Just focus on the beauty. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Wonderful. Um, and you, you mentioned just now about your coaching clients. Um, how do you get into coaching on, on intuition? How do you get? What's your story? <laughs> so I've been giving readings uh, since high school. And I did it off and on. Then over the last, like, 10 years, I started to do it much more seriously. And... Um, people kept coming back asking the same questions and not implementing the advice they, cause they weren't feeling empowered. They felt so disconnected from themselves, from their hearts and from their intuition. And, and then at the same time, people were coming to me and having psychic experiences and wanting assistance mm -hmm. with that. And so um, I was like, I need to create a program that will pull on all my years of knowledge, all of my experiences, all of my clients' experiences, and help people to trust their intuition, which is already present in you. You just got to learn how it's communicating with you, learning how to trust it, removing the, the blockages that are cluttering your connection to your intuition. And that way, we can live more empowered lives. 
we will make better decisions for ourselves. We can feel stronger, set better boundaries. And that's actually a really good way to tap into your intuition more. Intuition needs, we need space inside of our hearts, you know, inside of our minds yeah. to be able to hear intuition and yeah. setting boundaries on people who, or situations that are draining your sense of self um, and draining mm-hmm. your energy is really helpful because a boundary is like, it's a wall or it's a fence. And they keep things, fences like keep things out, but they also keep things in. So if your boundary is keeping out all of the people or the thing that is, is draining, you know, draining your energy, then it's keeping in you, your heart, your intuition, the messages, like you could just, you have more space to breathe and to listen, you know? Yeah, that is amazing. And yeah. um, can you give some examples of what intuition can also do for a person's uh, uh, business? And uh, if, if some of them are in uh, a job, how does it help in their jobs and in their life in general? Yes. So they overlap. Um, business and life using intuition overlap. Um, with business, um, we can make better decisions um, because you're listening to that your your soul's intuition is your soul's connection to your body okay and that's what creates that inner knowing your soul is like hey let's do this you know and you're like hmm what what, what you feel is like hmm i really think we should go do this bob you know and bob's like that's a great idea you know and you're like yeah that's just you listening to your intuition it, it cuts down on the thinking so much because you're feeling like you're just getting that intuition. It's a vibration. Uh, sorry, somebody's trying to call me. There we go. Um, it cuts down on the thinking time so much where you can just like tap into your intuition. Sometimes you might have to explain it, what it is. You can like a lot of times people are like, you know, at the workplace, you can be like, yeah, it's my intuition. Let's just do what it says, you know, but you'll, you'll look back, you know, you'll find the steps, you'll find the things in a project or in a conversation that will tell you that will, outline the Mm -hmm. assumption of your intuition that will back it up you know so but it just cuts down the cuts down the decision making time it helps you to anticipate um what's going to happen it helps you to anticipate people's needs your boss's needs um it can help you to anticipate next steps um it yeah. just, it's like when I, when I, cause I'm a visual, uh, like what I see is like, it just, your intuition just clears a path. Like what was once like the obstacles that were there, the rubble that was once there, that your intuition just like plows through it and clears the path. And it's like, this is what it is, everybody. Come on. Um, and yeah, but also helps with sales because then you can also like, yeah. How does it help sales? Oh, because you can feel a person's, a person's need. Is that it? Yes, you can. Yeah, you can. It's like reading between the lines. You can sense as you develop your intuition. Uh, many people develop mm-hmm. the ability to uh, feel energy. You know, uh, mm-hmm. we're already always feeling energy, but like just again, it's awareness. So um, I help people to raise their awareness of other pe- of other people's energy, places energy. So when you're on a call with a client or someone's in front of you. It helps you to read between the lines. It helps you to yeah. better understand their needs. And mm-hmm. if you have a good product or a good service and you're an ethical seller, then you will be able to match the service to the true need. It's getting to that true need. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. As opposed to people just selling stuff that they just want to sell. Yeah. Products that people don't really need, you know? Yeah. People can... So when is, you're is... when you're on the buying end, you know, like when when you're the one being sold to, you can tell when someone is, you can feel when someone is connected to you versus someone yeah. who is just like, you know, repeating a script or like they're just they just want to sell yeah. you something, and you're like, get out of my face, yeah. dude. You know, like it's yeah, it's yeah, not attractive. <laughs> so you like, if you want to really connect with your customers, like using your intuition is is like one of the best ways to really connect with your customer. That is amazing. Yeah. When you can really connect, people will buy from you without being sold to. They just want to get 
stuff from you because they say I need something that you have instead yeah. of you know okay I'll do you a favor I'll buy you something because I to you or something like that you know yeah. yes and when you when you hello Are we on live, Bridget? Okay, there you go. There yeah. we go. Sorry, sorry. You were frozen um, for a while. Yeah, like... <laughs> you were frozen for a while. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, um, yes. So when you're connected to your intuition, like the whole thing of like, I want what you have, whatever it is that you have, I want it. Um, connected, being connected to your intuition really, um, what's the word? It's very empowering because you are so confident. You have a lot yeah. of self-esteem. You're strong. You know yourself better, you know? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that confidence people instinctively want for themselves. You know, something about you seems to glow from within. It's because you're connected to your yeah. soul, your spirit. You're connected to God inside of you, you know? That's the glow, baby. Yeah. It's the best facelift. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> That's why spirituality is so important for you to be able to get in touch with your your soul purpose and you are more heart centered and that's where you can use your intuition instead of using your your head right your mm -hmm. head as in yeah what how much sale you want to make and uh, what you want to sell or trying to trap a person to buying stuff that they don't need yeah no yeah. but trying to trap that's someone right. to buying something doesn't create any goodwill it doesn't you know yeah. create a good uh, selling relationship so using your intuition exactly. to connect by the heart and connecting to your intuition will take you out of your head and into your heart so you have a beautiful balance between the two of them. Yeah, awesome. Bridget, can you give us a, like a short example of how do you get your clients to start tapping on their intuition? What are the, what are the things that you will be coaching your clients on uh, in order for them to be able to assess their intuition? What, what do you do during your coaching package, uh, programs and coaching calls with your clients? Mm -hmm. So I have a program called Anxious to Intuitive, and it takes mm -hmm. people out of the anxiety of, is this my intuition or is it not? You know, or the yeah. anxiety of, I'm having these psychic experiences and I don't know what they are. Can you please help me? And then getting wow. them, placing them firmly into their, into their intuition. And so we declutter the connection to their intuition um, by creating a consistent morning routine that connects them to themselves right away. And that's like through meditation, uh, through uh, authentic journaling. Um, then we will declutter the house and declutter their hearts, um, declutter all the little things that are um, pulling on their energy. So like uh, relationships, uh, Facebook, social media, uh, too much TV, identifying those sorts of things. And then we identify mm -hmm. exactly how their intuition is communicating to them. And just like I spoke about earlier, you know, finding that natural way. And, and then we discuss mm -hmm. how to shore that up. And those are the foundations. Then it continues into like learning more about your energy, your energy field, um, creating your heart's priorities and setting strong boundaries around them. We do a lot of boundary work so that your contain so that your your intuition has a very strong container to be heard. You your intuition needs room in your body, in your heart, in your mind to be heard and witnessed. So you're creating this intimate connection to your relationship uh, relationship to your intuition um, by learning what it sounds like and then acting on it. Just like any other intimate relationship in your life, you need, it needs trust to be built. Yeah. It needs trust yeah, to thrive. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, Actually, that's the basis of relationships, right? Trust. Like mm -hmm. you trust the person and that's how you can deepen your relationship or even have a relationship in the first place. Yes. And when Whether we're it's really... Business, it's personal. Exactly, Rashida. And when we're really connected to ourselves, then people will trust, people can trust us. They're like, they instinctively trust you. Um, 
And that's what your intuition does is that it helps you to connect deeply to who you really are. Okay. Okay. Do you have some, maybe uh, an example, a a story of a a client's transformation that uh, when they start to access their intuition, something happened to their lives or the the effect it has on their lives. Maybe you can just, you don't have to mention the name, but then uh, an example of a client who did something and got something by assessing. Yes. uh, So um, one of my clients um, was a coach or is a coach. And she had, she was having some psychic experiences, um, but they were only coming to her through her dreams and she didn't know how to control it. And so as we spoke about um, the part of the the reason why she took the coaching program was to Mm -hmm. stop those experiences and gain um, understanding in her business. So Mm -hmm. she, through the, throughout the program, we determine by setting boundaries and by tapping in deeply into the messages that were coming in for her and helping her access in her heart also the same kinds of messages, she got to the truth of what she, her business was supposed to be. So she learned even more deeply who she needed to serve and created a program around that. And now she is literally answering her heart's calling. And those psychic experiences stopped because we, we learned how to rechannel the, um, the energy that was coming through and gave her, um, we just learned to rechannel it. And so she understands it better and knows how to handle it. Oh, wow. That's amazing. And it does help her in her, in her business, right? After that, she got, she got clarity. And, uh, she got clarity. She, she, she knows how to listen to her clients more. She can access, she can help her clients um, get better results and faster results because she is in tune with her intuition. She just does more profound transformational work because of her connection. Yeah, I'm sure you're being a coach and all that. So um, do you have any upcoming programs right now that uh, maybe some people out there may be interested uh, you know, to get in touch with you or uh, yeah. coached yeah. by you? Absolutely. So I have my coaching program, um, Anxious to Intuitive. It is um, 90 days of one-on-one coaching weekly to help people develop an intimate relationship with their intuition so that they feel stronger, make better decisions, and have improved relationships in their lives, um, can build business better, and all around improve the quality of their lives. Yeah. So that one you can, you can, people can direct message me for that one if they're watching this on the Facebook live, or they can go to my website, um, bridgetflynn.com and the, all the information for the course is on there. Oh, amazing. Okay. So if any of you, you have questions, you can write in the comments and, uh, you know, I'm sure Bridget can answer them or you can go and connect directly with Bridget and find out how she can support you in tapping your um, intuition and um, it's going to do a lot of good work for your for your work life for your business as well as your personal lives and one last question Bridget before we go um, you also help clients declutter right mm-hmm. declutter yeah. their space um, how do you how would you be able to uh, uh, work with clients who are you know physically in your area what do you do with them and what if there are clients who are like from this part of the world and they are interested to know how can I arrange my my living space or my workspace in order for me to be able to, you know, get more clarity and more prosperity in my life? What a great question. So a little bit of feng shui here. Um, I'm not a feng shui expert. I just really am sensitive to the energy of a house or a room. And I enjoy that connection. Um, And I enjoy clearing the connection too. So if you want to bring more prosperity into your life, one of the things to do is to create um, direct pathways. Like keep your walkways clear. And like, like from the door, let the walkway be very clear to the sitting area, for example. Um, 
and make sure your rooms have defined spaces, especially when you're in an open, open concept that each room or each area has a defined space and intention um, because intention holds energy. And so an energy needs a container. The intention creates the container for the energy. So if you want to bring more prosperity into your, into your life, it's kind of like, it's kind of like creating like boundaries in, in your room, in your space through that. Make sense? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it does. And then also like if they were, uh, if they're overseas, how do they, uh, do, do you coach them on their living space? Do you get to see through the video calls? Like how Absolutely. their space looks like? Yeah, I work with, uh, for organizing, I work with clients locally and virtually. So mm -hmm. if you're virtual, you need to, um, virtual is really, we like meet once a week and it's for a month at a time. And I create, like, we'll walk through your space, like, via video, and you'll send me lots of pictures, and um, we'll discuss your goals and your needs, and then I will create a plan, and you execute the plan. I keep you accountable on the plan for buttering and for organizing. I tell you everything that you need to do. Like, I hold your hand through the process. It's just that you have to do the work, because I'm not, I'm not there. So a no. person who, who can physically do the work um, and they're like, I just, like, I can do the work. I just need a plan and I need accountability. That's a great client for, um, for virtual organizing. Yeah. I see. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Thank you so much, Bridget, for sharing. Thank you for And, hosting. uh, yeah, do, uh, if anybody has questions, <laughs> you can just write in the comments and, uh, yeah, we'll just forward that over to Bridget. Okay. So, yes. Thank all you right, so much, Bridget, everybody. have a wonderful day. Yes. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>